Hello everyone and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to be talking about the changes in the Town Hall 13 update in regards to the Sui Mass Hog Rider attack. So, how we're going to do that is we're going to do our last GWL attack with this army and we're going to do a couple of Legend League attacks and see if we can get any insight into what's changed with this army, this strategy, and if it's more effective now or if it was more effective at Town Hall 12. So for changes, we have a level 10 Hog Rider, level 7 Skelly Spell, new hero levels, 5 extra space in the CC, and a new hero that goes up to level 20. So we're going to see how we use all of these troops effectively, and see if maybe we should change the army composition a little bit because of the new update. So let's get started. We have chosen base number six in this war where we have a very simple plan to follow in executing this three star so on the left side here we have a compartment with the town hall and the inferno tower so we can send the wall worker into this archer tower and hopefully we can get both the inferno and the town hall and the cc without much trouble and then send the hog riders in from six o'clock and just Hopefully wreck this bottom side of the base. Which is so compact that the Warden Aura and the Hog Rider should not be able to be stopped by the defenses. So, let's get started. Activate the Hero Boost. And let's go. Change to a wall worker. And let's get this funnel created. Baby dragon as a wizard. Ice, wall worker, queen. And then we'll drop the king once the wall has been broken. There we go. So those heroes are going into the base. We will drop the rage spell to help the queen deal with the enemy hound. And to help with the troops get to the Inferno Tower, or to the Town Hall. Poison Spell on the Lava Pups. King will beat through this wall. Queen, we can automatically use her ability with the new hero ability mechanic. So we don't have to worry too much about that while we're deploying the hogs. Now we start deploying the hogs and Hopefully we get a sense of if the amount of, if the compact nature of the base is enough to overwhelm the rest of the base. So we're deploying the Royal Champion in as well. And her job is to help the Hogs out and eventually get to the enemy Queen, as well as taking out the Ground Skellies. I accidentally popped her ability instead of the Warden. So that's a little bit of a problem, but eventually uh, eventually we'll get used to that. And we won't have that problem in the future. So granted, it was kind of a dip 13v12. But we can see that the Mass Hog Riders is very viable in this meta. With the change of adding a fourth hero, it's possible that we don't even need the Skelly spells anymore. So that would be a massive buff to this arm. Let's see how it does in Legend League. Now that we've seen the Sui Hog strategy work successfully in War, let's take it to Legend League and see how it does. So we found a fairly strange layout. Not really a pushing layout, but kind of an anti too. So we'll see what we can do here. Do funneling just as we would normally uh, pre-update. Ice, Wrecker, and Queen. And then drop the King a little bit later. 
try to get the storage out of the way. Maybe King can take out that uh, Tesla. Uh, or go towards the enemy king and then towards the inside where the expo is. Some of you guys have been saying that hounds are fairly rare for you guys. But, and uh, now I'm seeing that as well in very low Legend League, like by around 4,900 trophies. Not even getting into the 5,000. So I see what you, I see what you mean. But like, as long as you get your four or eight attacks completed every day, you should be able to get out of here and into the territory where all the hounds DCs are being used. So at the top of the base, we drop all the hogs and the royal champion and the warden. The royal champion here has the objective of doing both doing damage to defenses, and she can take out uh, skelly traps or enemy queen or even clan castle troops if you leave them at, uh, open. If you have like a dragon or something, then your your royal champion can take out those as well as the enemy queen. So it's possible that we don't even need to use skelly spells anymore for this attack. Which means we can probably use it in the next meta. And that is very, very exciting. Totally crushed this base. Granted, it was a very weak Tunnel 13. But we can see it is definitely possible to get these things done. And it's fairly easy at, uh, for now. We'll see in about a month or so, once people are closer to maxed out, and once our offense is maxed out as well. So let's look at another raid. Okay, now that we've seen it done twice, let's see if we can get a better base out of Legend League at this time. Looks like we have the famous island base. Pretty common. Let's see what we can do with it. This time we'll probably go for the Eagle and the Inferno Tower. And hopefully get the BK as well. So ideally Queen will go into this Inferno Tower apartment. Via the Builder Hut, indeed. And then the Queen should eventually lead to the enemy BK. Perfect. Let's pop the record just in case. BK could almost take out the enemy queen, so that's kind of interesting, but instead we're going to go in with the hog riders at the top along with the royal champion, and the royal champion should be able to get the enemy queen down. Unless of course the, friend, the enemy queen takes her out, but she doesn't because the royal champion has a ton of health even at level 1. Let's get these hogs in for the center, along with skelly spells to tank a little bit, and get the cleanup down, make sure that's going alright as well. And this base is totally crushed, it's crazy. Even with just level 1 champ and tunnel 12 level heroes. This is absolutely wrecking. I don't even have level 10 hogs at this uh, on this account. So it is really stunning how well this is doing already. Hopefully next time I can get a maxed out base. At least maxed out to level 12. Uh, Town Hall level 12 and a couple of extra defenses hopefully. If not, maybe I can get an FC from someone else instead. So now we've seen a war base and two legend league bases. Now let's see if we can get a more up. Let's see if we can get a more well upgraded base from legend league and see how this really works out. Very interesting base. Definitely recognize it. Um, but it's pretty clear what we have to do here. 
go in from the top and get the Eagle, King, and Inferno Tower. Then, hopefully, we can get everything we want. And then we can just pile in the hogs from 12 to 3 o'clock. We're not going to deal with the Clan Castle troops. So we can save the rage for the hog riders. Let's drop them now and the royal champion as well. Let's get ready with the heal spells. And poison the loom. Okay. Skelly the town hall. And warden ability. Skelly the queen. And I don't think I even need another heal spell. Make sure we get our cleanup placed. And it is GG. So Legend League isn't really giving us any maxed out bases yet. So let's go back to one hive and see if we can get an FC of a closer to maxed out tunnel 13. So now we're back with the Town Hall 13 that has the Scatter Shots placed and the Eagle upgraded and the Town Hall to level 5. So we're going to see if this strategy still works on a base that has the Scatter Shots upgraded to max. So our plan for this is going to be to use the King to take out the BK and the Royal Champion. Then we'll have the Queen and the Wall Wrecker take out the Town Hall and have Hogs coming in from the 8 o'clock side. Uh, along with the Warden and the Royal Champion, the Royal Champion will take out the Queen. And we'll have two free spells for Scatter Shots or the Eagle. Whatever seems best at the time. So, let's give it a shot. So we can make the funnel here with a Wizard. Here with a Baby Dragon. And let's get this king into the heroes, hopefully. Ice Wrecker Queen. She should go inside after that Dark Drill is taken out by the wizard. King is going to take out both heroes, perfect. And Rage the Queen against the Hound. Poison on the pups. Our friendly Ice Golem Freeze is going to help out a little bit with the Poison spell. Now once we use the Queen ability, we'll be good to go. Hogs Warden and Royal Champion. Slingshot does a, uh, the scatter shot does a ton, ton, ton of damage. It is really, really hard to deal with. And also, I keep hitting the royal champion ability instead of the warden ability. A little bit frustrating, but eventually we will get used to that. Okay, so. It's not looking fantastic at the moment, but we do have the hero taking out that side. We have a couple of hogs left. So this would be definitely a triple if we had the new hero upgraded to 20, but I think we're going to be I think we're going to be fine. But this is really close. So it's all up to time at this moment. 
but I think we're going to get it. So in conclusion, the new hero is fantastic for this strategy. It gives you an extra two spell space for free spells. I recommend using those free spells on either the Eagle or the Scatter Shots. The Scatter Shots are really, really powerful against Hogs, so definitely be aware of that. But the new hero is a big improvement. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. I've been Reigns Gaming, and I'm out.